Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. Today, I am bringing you guys my favorite video, one I feel like I've been waiting literally all year to film for you guys. It is my fall decorate with me. I am just going to be walking you guys through like a home tour situation and I actually already decorated earlier today so I will like insert clips from earlier so that you guys can get in the fall spirit and kind of see what kind of like trial and error I did with my decorations. I trust me it doesn't always like just look magical the first time people do it. You have to try a bunch of different things and to be completely honest I'm still not sure I'm going to leave it the way that it is but I did want to get this out for you guys because I know I am like super far behind most of the youtubers but I am hoping that I am still ahead of you guys so hopefully you guys are still watching this before you decorate or while you decorate maybe you can throw it on and it'll give you some motivation to pull your fall decorations out and get this thing started so let's just hop on over into the living room and I will show you guys what I did over there and we will work our way into the kitchen let's just give off good and cozy vibes today let's jump into it So as you guys just saw, I was really trying to make that gather sign the centerpiece for my hutch, but it was just not working. This is obviously a TV console area, <laughs> and there was just no way to hide that little part where you would put your, I don't know, DVD player, like DVR system, things that nobody even has anymore, but there was just no way to hide it. I needed to use my tablecloth to hide it, and there was... It wasn't going to look right with the pinky tones if I used a tablecloth. So I scrapped the gather sign idea all together and moved to more of a like deep brown and more natural look. And I actually ended up really loving it in the end. So you guys will have to comment below and tell me what you think of it. But I think it turned out pretty good. I also just really love that auburn color and the browns. I think they go really well together. So it definitely gave off more of a fall vibe to me than the pinky tones. As you can see here, I'm just taking pictures because usually when I like change something up, I will forget how I had it before. And if I liked how I had it before better than the way that I changed it, I get really frustrated. <laughs> so I just now learned that I have to take pictures before I change anything. <laughs> and here I am just shutting and opening it to act like I am seeing it for the first time. When I was younger, my sister, my mom, and I used to like when we would try stuff on in a dressing room, we would walk by each other and tell the other person to like act like they didn't know us and that they were seeing the outfit for the first time and then we would know if we really liked it. I don't really know if that makes sense, but it's kind of what I do with my decor as well. I'll just like walk by it and act like it's the first time 
that I've ever seen it. <laughs> so now moving on to the dining room table, I kind of had something already decided for this area. So you guys will see this one definitely goes by a lot faster than the Hutch did. It was calling me a boy And as I climbed inside I saw you sitting there In a daydream you were lost But you saw me through the fog Try to hide behind your paper and your pen, but you laughed instead. So now that you are all caught up on all the trial and error that was my day today, let's just give you guys a walkthrough of the whole apartment and you guys can see it all together. Okay, so this is what I ended up doing with that little sign and the florals. Not a huge fan, if I'm being completely honest, which is kind of unfortunate that I'm starting you guys off with this, but it's just not my favorite like area of the house and I just don't even know where like where to begin with this area so obviously I am going to change it I haven't taken the tags off of anything as you guys can see because I am going to keep these flowers I just don't know if I'm necessarily going to leave them here so I didn't take the tags off yet but let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any better ideas for me for this little like foyer area because you come up the stairs here and then you come around and we're about to hit like my favorite part of the house. So this area is the little like, I guess, entrance area. We still need an entrance table. Or I was thinking about doing like some hay barrels near the guitar, but I can't do hay because of our cat Blossom who eats everything. But I am thinking maybe I could do like some bins like turned upside down or whatever and put pumpkins on them, but I have not gotten that far yet. So stay tuned for that. And then you come in here and I am obsessed with this little area. When we moved into this apartment, I hated this hutch. Dominic and I both hated it. But we did know that for Christmas and fall, it was going to look beautiful. And I am just loving it, if I'm being honest. We have this cute little picture. I'll actually post below where we got this picture. It's just so stinking cute. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know if you guys can see it over, like, the reflection. But I love it. It's our little family. And this I actually got in Burlington. I'm just, like, pointing out the things that I didn't show you guys in my unboxing video. This I got in Burlington, Vermont with my friend, the Lauren and it was so much fun you guys if you guys ever get a chance to go to Burlington Vermont I know it's like a big fall 
location for people and it's just it gives you all of the fall feelings and I just thought this plate was perfect and I'm so happy I bought it now that we live like <laughs> so far away from there originally I was like do I really want to spend the money on it but I believe it was only like $18 I got it from like a little shop there so anyway like I was saying I am obsessed with this hutch now I just think it's so cute also, my guitar is currently just decor because Dominic got it for me for our anniversary and I am still trying to learn it, you guys. It is definitely harder than I thought, <laughs> but I feel like I just haven't given myself the time investment yet for it, but I for sure need to. And then you come over here and we've got our tv stand you guys this tv stand we picked out like specifically for fall and winter <laughs> i just feel like it's gonna look so beautiful in the winter time as well and I literally just got this a couple of weeks ago and i'm i'm so obsessed with it and it's actually a big reason that we ended up keeping this table we were going to give or not give this table away we were actually just going to throw this table out because we didn't have anybody that wanted it and we were thinking about dropping it off at Goodwill. It is a family table that, like, we've literally had my whole life since I was, seriously, I was probably, like, five when we got this table. And I really didn't want to get rid of it, but it didn't really match our house very well. But now, you guys, tell me what you think in the comments, but I honestly think it matches perfectly. Dominic was like, oh, my gosh, we have to keep this table now because it, it literally matches perfect. So, that's really nice. And then <laughs> all I put on the table here, sorry, I'm losing my voice. I don't know what's going on. Then all I put on the table here is just a candle and this little guy with our different little pumpkins and stuff in it. I'll probably do something different with that, but I just didn't have anywhere else to put it. And it's one of my favorite items and I just don't know where to put it. I just love it. I love it so much. I could not be happier with how it turned out other than just a few things like I said this area which I still think is cute like I still think I did I still think I did something with the area <laughs> but I just I don't know it doesn't give off fall vibes it gives off spring vibes hardcore for me <laughs> and I'm just not here for it so the only things I would change is I would love to get like an amber blanket or like a mustard colored blanket I think it would look great and I also have some pillows coming in or pillowcases but I did want to get this um video out for you guys before I receive them because I who knows when they're gonna arrive but once they arrive I will update you guys with how those look okay you guys so oh I should turn this fireplace on you can't even tell well you can kind of tell Oh, it's pretty, you guys. I should have had this fireplace on the whole time. How pretty is that? And then we have our baby Sunday over here. Hi, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I woke you. She's so cute. Now, coming into our dining room area, I did end up going with the flowers and the pumpkin in this fit, or in this bowl. I think it looks really cute and the pumpkin kind of like jazzes up the bowl a little bit. I know the bowl is like super earthy and I'm loving the earthiness this year. And then behind the table we have our little ladder here that I ended up putting those cute leaves on the ladder. Originally I thought about putting them in the bowl but I really think they're cute on this ladder. So I ended up leaving them there. And here's our other little baby, our little Blossom, who really screws us in the hay department. And then we've got this sign here that I showed you guys already. And our welcome to our patch sign, because this is our bedroom in there. And now we're gonna come around to the kitchen here. So I ended up putting these vases here. Originally I used to have them where I have that ga gather sign over there. But I like them here. I think they're really pretty. And then you come around here and we've got our little pumpkin. All these little leaves in here. These are, I bought these three things separately, but I think they look really gorgeous together. I don't know necessarily if I'm going to keep this in here or if I do, I might take these little green leaves off. because I just think they kind of mess with the vibe a little bit. But I really like it. And then in this little bowl, I just put the pumpkins and the pine cone mixture. And then these right here are actually the bottom of this that I cut off because it wouldn't fit in there. And I just had them sticking out like that. I think it looks cute, you guys. 
And then down here, I put our little jars with our thankful, grateful, blessed. And I think those look cute there too. And then you come on over here and we've got our little pumpkin guy here. I was originally gonna put him in the bathroom, but I felt like he really matched well with this little utensil container. So I decided to leave him in here. Oh, and also, forgot to mention, I do have some fall um, washcloth thingies or hand towels. I just don't know where they are. I cannot find them. So I might either have to buy new ones or um, I don't know, you guys. I'm going to have to figure that out. I'll have to look for the other ones. But then back here, I ended up going with just this little pumpkin on the bottom with the two salt pepper shakers because they did not look good on the table. This little mug, gather here with grateful hearts. And I put this leaf thing right in here on this stand. And then up top... Now this is something that like I know isn't for everyone these bright orange colors but it's for me you guys. <laughs> if you guys know me and you guys you guys know me. <laughs> I love bright colors so I just vibe with those colors. Like I'm sorry I keep saying vibe too. I know that that word annoys people. <laughs> but I just love these colors. I can't get over them. They're so pretty. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please, please remember to hit that red subscribe button. My subscribers mean so much to me. And if you do subscribe, please remember to comment below because I would love to be introduced to you guys. I also would love to know where you guys are at in your summer to fall transition. Like, are you there yet? Or like, are you still kind of like holding off a little bit? I'm ready. I'm ready, honestly, for Christmas already. <laughs> but I am definitely ready to dive into all things fall and um, just jump into all of those types of videos for you guys. I'm so excited. It's my first fall on YouTube. And to actually be able to like show off my decorations <laughs> is so exciting for me because before it was just like I did them for myself, which is just as nice, you know, and a lot less pressure if I'm being honest but it is really nice to have people like actually care to watch you and to see what like get ideas from you it's really really fun for me I hope you guys stick around for more fall content and I will see you guys next time